call now. I'm talking with the American Dream, Ronald Johnson, and lead trainer, Crocodile. Ron, how you feeling? I feel good. I'm in the best shape of my life. Can't wait. Ready to go Saturday night. All right. We're, we're actually two days away from your fight at the Wolstein here in Cleveland, Ohio. How do you see this fight going with Bailey? Not the distance. <laughs> I know that much. We'll come right out and test him. See if you belong in the ring with me. If you don't, you got to go. Yeah. I trained hard. Ran eight miles with my boots on. I'm sure you didn't do that, Billy. But so <laughs> Gorilla warfare. I'm going to see you. We're going to see Saturday night. Ron, he has a, Bailey has a reputation for coming at his opponent and, and basically challenging him, seeing his, you know, challenging his manhood. How do you feel when people say statements like that? Just like my man Roy Jones Jr. said the other night to Jeff Lacey, he's not the problem, I'm the problem. That's right. I'm the problem, I'm the one he got to worry about. You know, I, he can be tough, can bring all the pressure in the world, but pressure is nothing when you're getting hit upside your head, six and eight punch combinations. That's right. Uh, Crocodile, I'm going to ask you a question. How do you feel this training camp went with Ron, and how do you feel he is right now as, as far as peaking in his training? This is the best I've ever seen him. He ran eight miles. Uh, he boxed 55 rounds. I got Mike, 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 Mike McCullough, the body snatcher, three-time world champ. Yoel Judah, Zab Judah's father, and uh, we had a great camp, and we got a good cut man, and uh, we feel real good about the fight. All right. Real good. Cool, man. Um, obviously, Ron, in the last week leading up to the fight, you're obviously a huge fan favorite here in Cleveland. What does it mean for you to fight in your hometown? Uh, I mean, it means everything, you know, to be able to win this big green WBC belt here at home. And uh, hopefully this home showdown lead to maybe a, a myself and a Kelly Pavlik in the near future. I would love to knock him out too here in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Gorilla warfare. Taking one fight at a time, Billy Bailey's turn. You know, I heard he ain't paid his taxes, so I'm got to come and tech, tax that beep. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> right. Uncle Sam will be in the building when I see you, Billy. Oh, all right. So uh, when you get past Billy, well, first, honestly, to, to lead out of it, what do you want to say to Billy Bailey? Obviously, you're two days away from the fight. What do you want to tell him before you see him in the ring? Thank you for taking this fight because it was a lot of opponents that didn't want to take it, so I give you the cur. I give you... You know, I give you the credit for the stepping up to this fight, but this may be one of the last times you ever wear a pair of gloves. So you might as well make the best of it. Ron, I'm going to make the best of mine. Ron, I want to thank you for taking the time. I know you're in the middle of training right now, yep. but uh, Fight News and your your fans appreciate it. Yeah, thank and, you, Fight uh, News. Yep. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for uh, standing behind us through this whole promotion. And uh, can't wait. See you Saturday night. Order it live on pay-per-view. Gorilla Warfare!